we heard a lot of insults. We heard that they're, that they're a threat to our national security. And that's a flat out lie. According to DHS, Madam President, the greatest domestic threat facing the United States comes from, quote, racially or ethnically motivated violent extremists, specifically, specifically those who advocate for the superiority, superiority of the white race, not our immigrants. I feel like I was just called a racist white man. That's not appropriate. I don't think we should be saying those things on the Senate chamber floor. I find that very disrespectful. There, this is being supported by a broad coalition, especially those that some of the minority members have looked to as a guiding light. This is being supported by law enforcement. And this is simply about allowing folks to drive safely and navigate our roads legally. Our immigrant community are not here to break the law. They're asking to drive legally. They're asking for a driver's license so that they can obey the law, they can drive their families to school, they can do what they need to do. And they want to do that, and again, legally. We also heard that this is a national security issue, which again, that is not true. The fact is that our communities are much safer with our immigrant population. They contribute immensely to our state, and we're all better off because of them. We heard them being called terrorists. We heard them being called drug dealers. We heard a lot of insults. We heard that they're, that they're a threat to our national security. And that's a flat out lie. You wanna know who the real threat is, Madam President? I'll give you a hint. It doesn't, they don't look like our chief author. They don't look like the folks up in the gallery. They don't look like the folks on the rotunda. They look like many of the members that sit in the front. According to DHS, Madam President, the greatest domestic threat facing the United States comes from, quote, racially or ethnically motivated violent extremists, specifically, specifically those who advocate for the superiority, superiority of the white race, not our immigrants. We are safer and we're better off because of them. I'm not gonna go back and debate everything that was talked about tonight, but that was not called for. Um, we didn't call anyone terrorists. We said that we're afraid that this could lead to that. We're not calling a group of people terrorists. We're, we're not saying that they're gonna create these acts. We're just looking out for everybody. I'm not confident that we don't have people in our midst that are terrorists that may want that driver's license. Millions are pouring across. There's no way of vetting them. And uh, terrorists can come across, come to Minnesota, get a driver's license, get on an airline, and uh, fly off in an airplane. People who are U.S. citizen also commit crimes. It's not just immigrants. There are bad people everywhere. And when someone does something wrong, we should hold them to the full extent of the law. And I'm with you on that. I too want to protect our national security. I too am a U.S. citizen. I also care about these things. But I also care about the people who are fighting to follow the law so they can drive. They are asking us to not drive illegally. These folks have been telling us for 20 years, let me get a driver's license, please, so I don't have to drive without getting a driver's education. They want to do the right thing.